Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. On this episode, I will be taking you to one of my favorite art exhibition in Macau. It is called Team Nap Supernatural. Hopefully you will enjoy this episode. I am so thankful for this room because I get to watch the fountain show anytime I want. Thank you again, Grand Hyatt Macau. In the middle of a casino, there is a slide that you can go from the second floor to here. It's so fun. I want to do it, but then I have to put my things in, in the locker. So it is right at City of Dreams in front of Louis Vuitton. So definitely can try it if you like. I mean, as long as you have somebody with you, then you're okay. But I'm by myself. They told me to go to the locker. I didn't want to go. So all right, we are back. Day time. So right now I'm going to the Venetian, which is right across the street because I am going to go to one of my favorite exhibitions in the world team lab but of course team lab is different in every single city the one that is my favorite is the one in tokyo but this one in macau i wanted to go last year but it was closed because there was a storm when i was here last year so let's check this out all right this is the canal of course there's one indoor i'm going to show you in a sec you can do a gondola of course a lot cheaper than venice because in venice i think i paid 120. i think some some people negotiated to like 195 or whatever so uh, the negotiating skills in venice is crucial because some people got down to 90 from what i heard i think i paid 100 euro let me show you the inside it is very similar to the venetian in vegas but i think the one here in macau is bigger at least the outdoor area but i cannot be sure though but from what i remember it is bigger than the one in macau so of course still the same all types of shop casino and uh, everything the exhibition that i'm going to right now is at Venetian, that's why I'm here. Guys, so do you remember the floating flowers that I shown in the Tokyo one and the planet? Over here in Macau is extra 120, but that includes a tea and an ice cream. If you have to if you want me to explain, right? It's to me it's actually a combined of the planets and the borderless together. So you're paying like two tickets basically. So you know, so if you don't have time to go to Tokyo and you are in Macau for that one day, I think it's definitely worth it to come. Guys, this is a little bit different than the one in Tokyo because you do have to borrow shoes and I wish that they mentioned that before we buy the ticket because I would have wore other shoes here, right? Although it is free, but you know, I don't like wearing shoes that's not mine but if i don't borrow then i cannot go into the exhibition so wear sneakers or whatever when you come and they take a deposit so it's actually free immerse the body create with others and become one and this is the shoes they made me borrow i have to say one very very good thing is Compared to the Tokyo one, this one is not crowded at all. Wow. Beautiful. So beautiful. My God. Wow. Look at this. Dance, my favorites, without all the people. Definitely the advantage because in Tokyo, there's no way. So what is Team Lab? It's an immersive art experience. They have art exhibition all over the world and this is just one of it. And I will tell you the advantage of this Macau one is that it has very little people compared to all the other ones. I went to both in Tokyo, each respectively three times. And I went to the one in Shanghai. This one has the least amount of people, only also because it's a weekday. Wow, look at this. It's just that they make you rent the shoes, even though it's free after the deposit, but 
still like it, it doesn't match my outfit but look how beautiful <gasps> oh it's beautiful in tokyo it's impossible that you will have the space alone wow It is also a fun place for kids as you can get quite interactive here and all the kids are so happy in this space. You can draw on the side, they have colored pencils. There's one more space for the kids around here, Very just right here. It's only for 3 to... there's another one I guess. Only for 3 to 15. <laughs> I wish I'm 15. Then there's another one. Oh, that slide. It's called Future park sliding through the fruit field these are fruits you can slide on here my favorite you know all these gigantic balls ow 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 <laughs> We are entering the tea house and the floating garden, which is the extra 120 that we paid for, for about 15, 16 US dollars. You can pick the tea and ice cream from the ticket that we paid for. I picked the roasted green tea and chamomile and rice milk latte. Right, we are entering the area. Ooh, very mysterious. All right, so I ordered the rice milk latte. Ooh, do you see the flower? Oh, so it's from the lights. And here's the ice cream. Flower bloom in an infinite universe inside a teacup. We are back at the floating garden, but this time there's no time limit compared to the one in Tokyo. I remember it was like only one minute or three minutes, you know, or I remember that by the time I went in, I already had to get out. And that was my second time or third time. But the first time when I went, because it was during COVID, there was no time limit. This is something very special, right guys? If you don't want a time limit, come to Macau instead of Tokyo. By the way, the one that has this floating floors floating garden is the team lab planet not the borderless i don't want to mislead any information it's inside for about two and a half hours super worth it definitely my favorite art exhibition Ever. That's why I keep going, back, coming back to different, even in different cities. So this is your thing. You must go because I always have so much fun. The thing is, the one in Tokyo, the the planet, you actually have to take off your shoes because there's this like this waterway. Once you enter, that is like the coolest thing. I'm gonna insert a video. But uh, if you just want like the one with the light, this is a better place because there's no one else. And the uh, floating garden, also amazing. Now we're going to the Parisian, guys. Parisian Hotel. On next week's episode, I will be taking you to the other side of Macau, Taipa, where I ate until I couldn't anymore. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next week.